Hey, welcome to Vocabulary with Samin. Today we are going to see a dad son conversation. Let's get into it. Dad suddenly enters his son's room and asks, What are you doing? What's under your duvet? Son replies, um, um, I'm, I'm just doing nothing. Dad says, Let me check this. It's your phone? Instead of studying, you are using your mobile? Your studies are all distorted because of your phone. Then he says, Dad, I touch my phone and at the same time you come into my room. This happens always. Then Dad says, I cannot believe you always say that. The son says, This time you are wrong, Dad. Dad says, How can you stall your studies? Then son says, I was using my phone just for a minute. It doesn't mean I was using it interminably. Dad says, I am going to seize your phone and this time you cannot grapple. The son says, Dad, please don't snatch my phone. I'm sorry, I won't do it again. Then what happened? Before knowing that, let's learn some words. And if the same story happens to you, tell me in the comment section. So the first word is duvet. Duvet means a large soft flat bag filled with feathers like materials used as a covering on a bed. The sentence is, Max kept his mobile phone under his duvet. The second word is distort. Distort means to affect something, especially in a way that makes it worse. The sentence is, misuse of mobile phone can distort someone's study. Distort has another meaning. It means to change the shape of something so that it looks strange. The sentence is, the odd camera angle distorted her face. By the way, if you think this video is helpful, please share with your friends. The third word is stall. Stall means to delay taking action and to stop making progress. The sentence is, you cannot stall studying. Stall can be used in two more cases. If an engine stalls, it stops working suddenly. And another is a small shop with an open front from which something is sold in a public place. The fourth word is interminably. Interminably means continuously doing something annoying. The sentence is, Max was not using his mobile phone interminably. The fifth word is grapple. Grapple means to fight, to win something. The sentence is, Max didn't grapple for his phone. Now, last part of our story. Dad says, okay, I'll let it go this time. I'm not gonna snatch your phone. Son says, thanks a lot, Dad. I love you. Dad says, make sure your studies are not stymied. Finally, Son says, yes, Dad. It's my pledge. Now, word number six. Stymie. Stymie means to prevent someone from achieving a goal. The sentence is, our goal shouldn't be stymied by any distraction. The last word is pledge. Pledge means to make a serious promise. The sentence is, the conversation ended with a pledge. So that's all for today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and do not forget to share. Thanks for watching.